this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, I'm going to, of course, be joined by Mittens. How are you doing today, Mittens? Did you have a good first Christmas? Good. And I'm also uh, being joined by Elfily. Lee, good morning. On Christmas, I gave you a cake, but can we go back to the normal way around? Can you go back to giving me cakes for breakfast? It seems like ages since I had a cake for breakfast. I'm going to look forward to this. <gasps> Nom, 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 Oh, there we go. I saved you a slice, Lee. I saved you a slice. How nice I am. <laughs> oh, dear. You can see up on the wall here that I put up my present from Santa that I got uh, on Christmas. Uh, my Christmas prezi from Santa, which are my fancy boots. I've gone back to my normal boots. These are actually my spare boots. I actually uh, gave my, my normal boots to Ank, and uh, he's not given them back yet. So, Ank, if you're watching this, I want my boots back. <laughs> uh, but luckily, I had some spare ones. They're a bit uh, old and smelly and got holes in, but they're, they're due for now. At least I'm going around stampy stuff. And I've also I got my present that Lee gave me, which is a sword of awesomeness. What we got on this sword? We got uh, we got everything. We got looting three, fire aspect two, knockback two, sharpness three. I don't know. Maybe it's got some sort of sat nav built into it. It can play MP threes. It can do everything. This sword. This sword is absolutely amazing. So uh, for once, uh, I'm actually looking forward to going up against some googly. So hopefully, uh, when it becomes night, I can go and take some people out. But before that, I'm going to go to my love garden and I'm going to add someone to it. And uh, if you have no idea what my love garden is, then where have you been? This is basically a place where at the beginning of every video, uh, I look at a sign which I added with someone's name on, and I say thank you to them for some reason. And today, who am I adding, Lee? I am adding Love Me Forever. And uh, that is because she sent me a video of when I first managed to tame my cat Mittens. And uh, if you didn't see the video, it took me about 20 minutes to tame her. And yeah, it's pretty much the entire video. And she uh, made little models uh, of me, Mittens, and uh, Lee. And uh, she basically reenacted it. And I thought it was really nice as I wanted to say thank you for that love me forever and welcome to my love garden. And it's also uh, very fitting uh, that it was something to do with Mittens because um, I don't want her to hear. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over to this side. And um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a surprise for Mittens today. Uh, at the moment, Moment. she hasn't got a house and uh, she's normally quite happy sleeping on the end of my bed and stuff but I thought what she would like is her own condo uh, so we're gonna build a kitty cat condo and it's basically gonna be a tree house and uh, we're gonna build it somewhere around here uh, but instead of being a, a normal boring tree house it's gonna be literally uh, a tree with just a nice little house and a oh no oh no what's going on here Lee oh I could have used my sword then what was all the googlies in here for is there any more I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly edge around the corner. That was terrifying. There was all zombies and creepers and all that in here. Are you okay, dogs? They're not at all phased, are they? I don't think they even realise. They were just all in their own little world in their head. They didn't even know it's all the mobs wandering around the place. Are you okay, Lee? <laughs> I think that might have scared them a little bit down there. <laughs> anyway, who should I take with me today? I know who I'm gonna take. I am gonna take Duncan with me. Uh, seen as Duncan uh, does seem to be best friends with Mittens, maybe uh, he's going to help out. Uh, yeah, help us pick what to uh, what to put in uh, inside of Mittens' new home. Uh, so yeah, the idea is we're going to build a tree, not a massive tree, nothing like that, but um, bigger than these trees, and we're just going to build like a normal house in it. So like just a nice little brick house just inside of a tree, and it's going to be tiny, and it's all going to be little tiny kitty cat size. And hopefully uh, we'll get it done in the video. Then it can be a, a nice surprise for Mittens when we go and show her. So uh, we're going to build it down here somewhere and so the trunk's going to be quite big uh, just to make sure the uh, the house is stable and isn't going to fall down so I'm just going to build up to the top up here and then we're just going to build a, a nice little tiny uh, brick house here with some uh, some birch wood uh, roof and uh, hopefully I'm going to have enough materials on me uh, what do you reckon I think maybe a little bit higher than this and also at the back we're going to have a balcony uh, so she can go and admire that amazing view and maybe uh, do a bit of fishing out of it um, I think this should be about high enough I think this is a uh, pretty high I don't want her to get too scared up here actually maybe one more one more higher and then we're going to go out to the side this way and uh, it's going to be a bit of a rectangle and we want to make sure that we have room for uh, a door in the middle yeah there's going to be like a normal door we're going to have little windows as well and it's actually going to be a, a, a two-story house as well it's not just going to be one little room there's going to be two little tiny rooms so she's going to have like a one room which is going to be a kitchen living room and bathroom uh, believe it or not and then another room which is going to be uh, her little bedroom uh, which is basically going to be just a bed because I doubt we're going to be able to uh, to fit much more than that in there so what we got here one two three four five six seven then we want one two three four five and then uh, where's the where's the trunk it's about I can't even see it now um, I think we go six this way so I think if we go uh, to there 
Now, I think this is pretty much going to be the entire size of the house. So, I've got a bunch of bricks on me. Uh, Lee's got some as well. So, hopefully, we're going to have enough to build this. So, uh, the middle's going to be there. Uh, that's where the door's going to be. So, we're going to just have to do uh, one big pile of wood with a ladder uh, leading up here. And she's a cat. So, she can uh, be able to... She should be able to climb trees really quickly. And is this big enough? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. It needs, to, it needs to be one bigger. It needs to be one further out this way. <laughs> I was thinking it's a little bit small. Like, I wanted it to be small, uh, but not that small. And, God, I nearly fell off then. And yeah, what we're then going to do is uh, build uh, all of the branches off it. And we're going to build, uh, build branches going off in all directions and cover them in birch leaves uh, just to make it more look like a proper tree rather than just a house on a pole, uh, which is kind of how it looks right now. So uh, we're going to put some... Oh, oh, oh sorry, Duncan. <laughs> I just told him to sit down immediately as he got up here. That's probably a good idea. What I'm going to try and do is gently push Duncan into the middle of the house without knocking him off because, right got to be careful with this. Actually, there is water underneath, so he should be okay. Right, you can't stay there, Duncan. Right, if I tell him to stand up and stand over... Oh, easy, Duncan! Duncan, are you okay? Is he alright? God, God, he nearly killed himself then. Duncan, get... Sit down there and behave yourself. Have I got any pork chops? Have some pork chops. There we go. Get your health up and stay away from the edge. This is a cat's house. This place is not for dogs. Dogs stay safe inside of there. I, well, I say they stay safe inside of there. It's full of googlies earlier, but yeah, it's certainly safer than climbing up here. If cats fall down, they land on their feet. They are absolutely fine. Dogs, not so much. <laughs> so yeah, you, you stay where I can see you, Duncan. And yeah, so we're going to build up to here. And then we're going to do a sort of a, a like a triangle roof. Uh, the very old, like sort of fashion, traditional uh, houses with the uh, the pointy roof. So uh, if I put a crafting table right there. <laughs> that was nice of you, Lee, building that up for me. And uh, I make a, a whole load of this uh, birch wood into planks. And then if I make all of this into stairs. And then we just need to build basically staircases up either side. And then it should meet in the middle. And hopefully I make a, a nice little uh, kitty cat condo, which is going to be uh, in the top up here. And uh, I really want to get this done as quick as I can because... And I do want to show Mittens, because Mittens right now is probably feeling uh, a little bit upset, thinking that I forgot about her, and I uh, just left her in the room and didn't realise that I didn't take her with me. So, um, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll get it done so we can go and show her and see if she likes it, see if she uh, enjoys it. It's kind of going to be like a, a bit of a, a late Christmas present for her. She can have a, her own little space where she can uh, stretch her legs and just admire the view. And we're going to have a little kitchen, which is going to be a little kitty kitchen, and uh, we can have a, a fridge there, which we can fill full of fish, uh, which is, of course, her favourite food, being a cat. And yeah, so it should be quite lovely. And I should like it as well, actually, seeing as I am a fellow cat. Like, I am a bit of a, a bigger cat than Mitten, so it might be a little bit too small for me, considering this is her house. And yeah, all of that is my house. I, I, I like lots of space to stretch my legs, but I think for a small cat like Mitten's, this should be just about fine. And this is pretty much the outside done. Have you, um... Have you noticed the problem, Lee, with how we've built? Um, do you reckon we could jump down and get through the, the, the door? Do you think I could do that? You think I could? Well, he, he has faith in me, probably a bit more than me. Right, step back, Lee. Uh, oh, it wasn't going to happen. was not going to happen. <laughs> Let's have a look at it then. So there we go. We've got a nice little, a nice little tiny house. It's kind of like a double door. And did you hear that? Is there a zombie? Is there a zombie in here again? Is this in Squid's house? Has Squid turned into a zombie? What are you doing in there? Why are there googlies all over the place? At least I, I finally got a chance to, to try out my new sword. Okay, right, what we need to do then is that we need to build a, a place for the uh, the ladder to go up. I think I might use uh, birch wood planks and then put the uh, the ladder on top of that. I don't actually have any ladders on me. I'm going to make some, some oak planks and then put down... Uh, another, there we go, another crafting table, good call. And then I'm going to make a, a whole load of ladders uh, leading up to the top so we can get into the, the nice little doorway. And uh, yeah, then that should be it. Uh, pretty much done. Looks like Lee's added in some windows as well. It uh, all looks uh, jolly nice. So uh, let me just go and try and pile up here and then put the ladders on. This is going to be pretty awkward actually to try and place ladders while trying to, to climb up. But I'm going to try it. So if I climb up to here and then if I go here, I can fill in these last few bits. Putting the ladder there, 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 and there. And then all I need to do is put the, the door up here. There seems to be uh, a few gaps which we can uh, fill in here. I'm getting pretty hungry, actually. Do we do we have time for another cake? Do you want a game of cake peekaboo, Lee, if you've got any spare cakes on you? Uh, let me go and put down some torches just so uh, we can see what we're doing. Do you have any cakes on you at all, Lee? Oh, he hasn't got any cakes on him. <gasps> this isn't like you. This isn't the Lee I know. He's he's off to get one. I'm going to wait here, Lee. Then he's going to come back with a cake. And we can have a nice little game with Cake Peekaboo. If you've not seen Cake Peekaboo before, it's the most hilarious game in the world. All right, let's try, let's try and tidy this up a little bit then, shall we? I think out here, this is where we're going to have the balcony. And so I'm just going to, once again, if I've got some more birch planks, I'm going to uh, build out to here. 
And yeah, try and make uh, an absolutely tiny little balcony. And I am going to do a railing on just in case uh, Duncan does come to visit. Then uh, yeah, he's not going to go and fall off. And I like my, my crafting table placement up there just in the ceiling. It means that no matter where I am, I'm going to be able to access it. So I want to go and make uh, a few more fences uh, just to go around. And it's going to be a pretty awesome view actually, being able to uh, to look over there at the uh, the lighthouse, which you can see lit up as the as the moon is rising in the distance. This is a this is a really nice house actually. I am feeling a a little bit jealous that this is a uh, her house and not mine and yay Lee's managed to get a cake right go on put it down peekaboo 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 <laughs> peekaboo 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 and then you gotta go to the side and you go peekaboo then you go to the other side then you go peekaboo <laughs> peekaboo peekaboo you gotta guess where they're gonna go up peekaboo <laughs> and then you go num 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 and then you eat the cake and it ruins the game <laughs> whoa easy Lee easy now okay so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and uh, put the doors in and uh, putting the door on this side should be pretty easy uh, I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna place the door down on this side we've oh there we go it looks like these managed to, to put it down sorted so all we need to do now was I go and build the uh, the second story so it's gonna be a little bit cramped up there I can get rid of these blocks uh, to give it a little bit more room and then uh, all we need to do is go and give the floor. Uh, how are we going to do it? I guess if we do it all on this level here, uh, then that way there'll be just about enough room. There's not going to be much headroom in here. This is certainly uh, a house for, for very little kitty cats. So, um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do much jumping up and down in here. It's uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're going to lose a few brain cells doing that. And then let's go and try and decide where we're going to have the uh, the ladder going up to the, the second floor. Um, I think if we put brick in these places here, and then the windows won't look so weird, and then we can go and add the, the ladder in here, I guess. If I go and put this... Oh, God, there's cake in the way. Do you, do you, do you want to eat that cake at all, Lee, before I get rid of it? I already got a full stomach. <laughs> I think we're going to feel sick if we have any more cake so far today. And then, yeah, we can go and build the ladders up here. And this can be where her bedroom is. So uh, put a few torches here. And then all we need to do is uh, make a bed. I don't know if you've got any wool on you, Lee. Uh, yeah, there we go. He's got a bed on him. There we go. This is where this is where mittens can sleep. Uh, if you excuse me one second, Lee, I'm going to go back downstairs. And uh, yeah, let's go and build inside here then. So uh, I'm going to do a, a table and chairs. I'm going to plonk down a, a crafting table here for now. And I'm going to use... Uh, I use oak uh, stairs for the, 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 the chairs just to make them... And them look slightly different. And then I should have another spare fence on me. And so I'm going to put that in the middle, uh, which is going to be the table. And then if I use a smooth stone uh, pressure plate, I can plonk that on top. And then there we go. That would be the uh, the little table. <laughs> look at Duncan there being a very good boy sitting down in the corner. <laughs> and there we go. We've got some bookshelves that Lee's put up. Uh, I want to put a um I want to put a fridge somewhere. What I might do is I might get rid of this window here, and then we can have this side as the uh, the kitchen. And then we can put a fridge over here and maybe like some chests and stuff as well. So uh, the best way to make a fridge is to um, you need iron bow. Oh, I don't I don't have a, a bow and arrow actually. Do you have a do you have a spare bow on, on you at all, Lee? That we could use to make a uh, dispenser. Uh, because what you want to do... Oh, there we go. He does. And so um, I want to be careful. To, oh, no, they're both enchanted, though. Oh, we can enchant another one. It doesn't matter. And so, yeah, all I want to do is make a um, an iron block uh, over here. And then I want to make a... Oh, I don't have any redstone either, actually. Do you need redstone to make a dispenser? Oh, yeah. If you can, Lee, if you go grab another bow, which isn't so awesome, and uh, some piece of redstone, we can make a fridge. And then, because what you want to do is you want to put down uh, the iron block, a dispenser, and then a uh, an iron door in front of it. And then that way, when you press the button, the door will open and then it will fire out some food, uh, which in this case will probably be fish, seeing as that is uh, what Mittens is going to be eating. So I can start building it now. And then when Lee gets the dispenser, we can finish it off. And oh, no, that is not how it's supposed to be. It's kind of awkward to place it. You've got to place it like there. There we go. Then I put the iron block there. Then we just need to put the uh, the dispenser on top. And uh, what else can we have over here then? I suppose I can put a... um. I put a little chest down there where that crafting table was. Uh, I don't think I need a crafting table. I can't really imagine Mittens doing much crafting. And uh, we can put something here as well. We could put maybe... I know what we could do. We could put the the chest on a block here. I could put it on just uh, this here as if this is like a, a shelf or something. And down here we could put the litter tray. Uh, just so uh, Mittens has got somewhere to go to the toilet. And uh, the way we're going to do that is uh, by just using a piece of gravel. But uh, before I do that, I need to place some blocks underneath uh, just so that way it doesn't fall through. I'm just going to use some birch leaves for now, as uh, soon as this whole place is going to be covered in birch leaves. And uh, I need to go get some gravel, actually. Uh, there's got to be some gravel around here somewhere. Actually, I can try out my sword as well. Go take out some of these googlies. And apparently the sword's awesome. Look at it! They go just flying back. <laughs> this is going to be easy, right? I'm going to be very careful with the creepers, though, because uh, they still do have a chance to blow me up. And yet there's no one coming up behind me. Look, like I take everything out in like two shots. 
bounced. Oh, that bounced off the, the zombie then. It like headed it back at me. Right, is there any gravel round here? Surely there's got to be some gravel round here somewhere. Just in the ground anywhere? There's a lot of sand. There's not too much gravel. Where would there be gravel? There's normally gravel all over the place. Somewhere round here is there gravel? It's like one of the most common and most boring blocks. Surely there's got to be some gravel around here. I need just one block, just one little block of gravel. I could use sand for now and then replace it with gravel a little bit later on. So let me just uh, gather up that sand and then let's go ahead back. And that can be the um, yeah the little the little litter tray for her mittens in case she uh, needs to do some of her business. Then she's got a, a place to do it. She doesn't have to to go down in the middle of the night and come down to the bathroom in my house. It looks like Lee's about returned. And I've not really properly looked at the house from the outside. It looks a bit strange at the moment just because it does look like a house on a pole. But once we make that look more like a tree and do branches- Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What has happened here? <laughs> oh, no, look. I made a little quick access route into my little water room down here. Whoopsie doodles. That is why we're supposed to go to sleep at night. Right, I'm going to be a bit more careful from now on. <laughs> oh, luckily I didn't blow up Gregory's grave. That was close there, actually. Okay, I've made a bit of a mess here. I'm going to sort that out later, though, because I can't be bothered to do it now. I'm going to shut the door before any googlies make it back into my house. And I'm going to be very careful now. I'm going to have my head on a swivel. I'm going to use the eyes on the back of my head. And oh, look, there's a load of redstone down here. God, my inventory's full. What should I get rid of? Let's get rid of some uh, crafting tables, seeing as I've made about a million of a million of them so far in this video. And yeah, let's go and uh, finish off the um, the fridge then, shall we? Um, so I wanna, I'm going to throw down the good bows for now. Uh, just so I don't accidentally uh, use them uh, when crafting the dispenser. So I think it's just, yeah, there we go. Smooth stone, uh, no, uh, cobblestone, uh, an arrow, and redstone. And I can't actually get to it because I was an idiot and put a chest here. So I'm going to go and put the dispenser down there. And there we go. There's there's our fridge. And then if I go and put the, the chest back up there, and if I go and make a, a little button, I can put that down there. So when you press it, uh, it will fire out whatever's in the dispenser. So I'm going to make a, a little stone. Oh, there we go. At least someone already. So if I press it, it would fire out whatever's in the dispenser. Yeah, there's nothing in it at the moment. Let's just put something in it for now. Can I Can I even get to it? Right, if I press it and then do that. There we go. Now I can put stuff in it. I'm going to put a few pork chops, uh, a few flowers, and a few sticks, and some gunpowder, and some rotten flesh. Right, here's a Russian roulette, Lee. You've got to press the button, and whatever comes out, you need to try and eat it. Okay, let's see what you're going to have to eat. Press the button, and then I'm going to do the same afterwards. Oh, you got nothing. I think that's probably lucky. I think it's lucky you didn't get anything. Oh, actually, it's not even going to work. The button's in the wrong place. I need to... I put the button... I can't even put the button there because the ladder's there. I think I need to put the uh, the dispenser lower down. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll sort that out later. Anyway, let's go do the, the litter tray, shall we? So for now, I'm just going to do sand. And so there we go. That's where the cat can do its business. Uh, it's not exactly hygienic being right next to the kitchen. <laughs> but I kind of like it, though. I kind of like this uh, tiny little house. So uh, I'm going to finish it off a little bit. In the next video, uh, we need to add a, a few more branches and make it look a little bit more like a tree. But for now, I just want to go and show it to Mitten. So I'm going to have something to eat quick, so I'm getting a little bit hungry. I'm going to keep a big eye out for any googlies after, uh, yeah, what happened earlier in the video. And I'm going to go grab Mittens and, yeah, see if she uh, likes her new kitty cat condo. Right, let's just be careful. The, the googlies seem to be very aggressive recently. Like, they never normally venture into, like, the dog house or come this close to me. They're normally a little bit scared of me, but they seem to uh, be getting a little bit braver recently and I, I do not approve of that that is not uh, a good thing so uh, anyway mittens do you want to follow me uh, i got a little surprise for you mittens um yeah i know i didn't really get you much for christmas uh, i know santa got you a fish but i didn't get you anything so uh, i got a very nice little surprise for you that you might enjoy if you just keep following me this way and uh, I know you've been uh, after your uh, your own space for a while now. I mean, you're you're over a few weeks old now, Mitten. So it's time for you to to move out and live life by yourself. So up here, I have built you a kitty cat condo. Do you like it, Mittens? Do you enjoy it? No, do you not like? Can you even sit, Mitten? Look this way, Mittens. 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 Come on, girl. Look this way. Look up there. Look, there's a kitty cat condo. Do you like it? I think she loves it. <laughs> you can tell by her her blank expression. Now come up here, mittens, and I'll, I'll show you around. I'll give you I'll give you the the house tour. Uh, you're gonna love it up here, I'm sure. Look, you got your favourite dog Duncan up here, and uh, if we come up here, we can see this is your bedroom. Where where are you, mittens? I think she's gone up on top of the roof. To be honest, is she up on the roof? <laughs> oh god, I forgot what she's like climbing up and things. Let me let me go and try and find her. Let me try and break her through the ceiling, mittens. Oh, there she is. There she's come. She's come inside. Oh, look, she's jumped straight up on the bed. Oh, she enjoys it already. Look, you got a nice little uh, item frame with a fish in case you get uh, hungry during the night. Do you like your new house mittens? 
Yes, yes, I do. Yes, yeah, see, she likes it. She meowed at me. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, we've just about run out of time in this video. As I said, uh, either in the next video or in between, I'm going to uh, do a few more improvements and uh, make it look more like a tree house rather than a house on a pole. Uh, but Mittens does seem to enjoy it, and I can imagine Duncan's going to be spending a lot of time down here as well, and uh, they can have fish in the morning together. <laughs> anyway, I want to say a big thank you to Lee for helping me build it. Uh, a big thank you to you uh, for watching me build it, and hopefully I'll see you in my next episode. Bye!